as a tech expert, what are the biggest lessons that we can learn from this pandemic to make sure that tech does serve us and that this doesn't happen again? Well, I think there's a bunch of really great work that's happening right now uh, as collaborations between tech companies, public health professionals, medical professionals, and scientists uh, on a bunch of different dimensions. So uh, the fortunate thing is that many of our tech platforms that we have invested a ton in collectively as an industry over the past several years are uh, especially useful right now as we need to do more and deeper data analytics to understand the progression of the disease to help uh, people better manage all of their core workflows, whether it's uh, CDC or hospitals. Um, and also there's some really great work happening uh, at the intersection of artificial intelligence and uh, the biosciences where uh, we're uh, able to collaborate in this really effective way to hopefully find potential therapies and vaccines for uh, COVID-19. Explain more what the role of AI is in this and how it can be used to prevent the, the downfall like this in the future, right? I mean, viruses might come up and those will be out of our controls, but how, how can we use AI to make sure that the aftermath doesn't happen to the same extent in the future? Yeah, I think that's a really great question. And part of the answer to that is understanding that AI is uh, is a tool that can be used in a bunch of different places for a bunch of different purposes. So uh, whether it is helping to make diagnostics uh, ubiquitous so that everybody has access to uh, preventative care. Um, some of the interesting things happening right now is uh, scientists and engineers working to determine whether or not biometric sensing, like from your fitness band or your smartwatch, or maybe new sensors that we're going to develop, can work in conjunction with machine learning systems to tell you when you're sick, not just with this particular disease, but with other things where you can get early early treatment. Um, we're also finding it uh, more and uh, more and more so over time that the biological sciences, whether it's uh, in doing molecular simulations and trying to uh, very, very quickly and precisely and safely determine which potential compounds that are treatments for the disease uh, are safe to take forward into human trials, like AI machine learning is playing a big part in, 